Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another reading for you all. I don't know if it's energy. I do want to say energy, but we'll see what pops out. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my loves, it is simply not, simply not your story. I just heard it comes so easy to love you. It comes so easy loving you. Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. But the first card out the deck was the devil. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. My lovelies, I'm going to go live here in a few um, I'm going to finish up some household stuff and then I'm going to go live. Let's do some $25 minis, $2, uh, I'm sorry, free. Let's do some free yes or no's and some $25 mini reads or some two for 20 questions. Loves, I'm at the point where I'm like about to make a GoFundMe because shh, there's so much going wrong. Like, well, I don't know what I did. All right, my loves, this is your energy. This is your surrounding or the other person if it turns into love this is the mutual most likely outcome or what is to come i just heard baby girl baby girl baby girl i don't know what the heck that means but that's what i heard baby girl all right over here in your energy my loves because this is super hot right here these two cards in your energy ooh, the devil black shook we have the ace of wands in reverse suspension which is gemini energy the hanged man capricorn gemini the empress taurus virgo or libra i got the chills um virgos Oh, uh, yeah. Vir <laughs> Virgos, why do I feel like somebody's coming to trap you? Somebody is trying to trap you in some way. Oh, I got the chills. Some way, shape, or form. Te quiero morir. Uh. I keep hearing this song, my loves, called No Te Alejes De Mi by Tornillo. And in that song it says, Si no te tengo, yo puedo morir. Like, yo puedo morir. It's, it's like, if I don't have you, I could die. And I feel strongly, my loves, like that's... There's an energy like that. There's an energy like that around you. I also feel strongly like somebody is trying to keep you stuck. I feel a lot of black magic, for sure. I feel a lot of dark magic, candle work, energy work, spell work, for sure. For some of you, for those of you that deal with people that do that. I just heard, I'll wait. Like, I'll wait. Like, there, there's something very, very strange about this energy. It's like super hot on this Gemini energy. With the devil here, Capricorn energy. This is obsession. Can also be dark magic. Look at how. Like, what I'm being drawn to, my loves, is everything surrounding. It looks like there's energy work. It looks like there's spell work. It looks like there's a binding or a, like a bound, like there's a binding that has taken place. I do feel, I'm seeing, oh my gosh, I do feel somebody has done a binding spell or a binding candle. Do y'all know what that is? It is where you tie the two people candle together and you you bind it together and then you burn it you pray on it you put their names their their dates of birth all that stuff someone's done that to you or someone's thinking about doing that to you um for sure for sure for sure that's what i'm getting someone's done that 
I also get strongly like if that doesn't resonate, somebody is just so obsessed with you. My loves, and this has been, look at my chills, this has been the energy for quite some time. And my loves, this is what I was telling you on the live last night. I went live just to say a quick happy Thanksgiving. Um, is that I don't know whether to change up the reads or give it more time because the energy is just the same and it's like growing and growing even more. It's Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is hitting someone who is obsessed. Okay, but look at this. It's like there's something binding the foot of this wolf. As much as they want to leave, they are bound to something else. And look at the eyes are red. Like it's almost like I'm seeing red. Someone is so obsessed that their eyes are red. I'm hearing that song again. Te quiero morir. Like it's it's saying I want to die without you I'd rather die like in it's very strange energy um, I'm seeing look at that look at that hand right there look at that hand I've never noticed that in this deck there's a hand right there someone's getting help doing this someone's getting help doing this I'm getting strong. This is a masculine energy, all right? Even if you are a male Virgo, a feminine Virgo, however you identify, females can embody feminine energy as well. But this, I mean, females can embody masculine energy. This is a masculine energy. I want to say Capricorn because it's Capricorn, but... I'm getting Taurus. Like, I'm seeing somebody, like, you know, when a bull is like grunting, like the huh, huh, you know, and the air comes out of their nose. That's what I'm seeing right here. That they're just so angry, ready to charge. That they're grunting, like, steam out their nose. Don't go far. No te alejes de mi. Like, don't go far away from me. If y'all don't know that, if y'all don't know that song, it's kind of like Spanish rap, kind of in a sense. It's kind of, I don't know the genre, but go look at it and do a Google Translate if y'all don't know Spanish, because it says, un amor eterno contigo, like an eternal love with you, and without you, I, I could die. Someone is extremely, extreme, oh, I got the chills extremely extremely obsessed my loves don't go far away from me don't go far away from me I just keep seeing Taurian energy Taurian energy Taurian energy like I don't know why like I'm seeing a bull I'm seeing someone angry I'm seeing someone grunting and someone is bound with this ace of wands in reverse my loves this means that look at there's somebody grunting spitting fire angry the devil mixed with the ace of wands in reverse is black magic my loves it's dark magic it's manipulative energy wands can literally be a spell like literally a wand doing energy work however you know what's crazy my loves y'all know that i woke up last night at 2 33 a.m to go live with y'all and I was telling the people that were on with me that I felt a like huge rush of an anxiety attack and I haven't had that happen to me in probably like a year and a half or two years I haven't had an anxiety attack like that in a long time to where I have to like get up and shower and that's what happened so we do have a new moon in Sagittarius on December 1st we're in Mercury retrograde, in Sagittarius, in Sagittarian season, with a new moon in Sagittarius. Remember, we've been getting that Sagittarius. Do we have it here today? Let's see, let's see. We've been getting Sagittarian energy like crazy. That... I feel like it's just wild energy. Because Sagittarius rules wild. They're hard to tie down. 
And my loves, if you are being hard to tie down for somebody, this is what they're resorting to, energy work. This is quite literally manipulative energy when these two are together. However, for those of you that do not believe in magic, this is somebody so obsessed that wants to bind you to them, that wants to be bound to you, tied to you, chained to you. I'm seeing those little finger traps. Y'all know those like um, finger traps where you put each finger? I'm getting somebody wants to like literally be bound and married to you. How many of y'all have been having like Mercury retrograde might really be hitting this person and it also might be really hitting you, especially if this person is manifesting you, okay? How many of y'all feel like you're having like a change of mind or a change of heart about something or someone? That's what this is. This Ace of Wands means no new beginning, a closed chapter. I feel like my house just darkened up right now. That's really weird. Oh, I got the chills. A new chapter is not being pursued or opened up. This is someone so angry that they're spitting fire. <laughs> I want to say the name Dylan or Dylan because y'all know what I'm seeing from Dave Chappelle where he's like, I spit hot fire, you know, from the Dave Chappelle show. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing that strongly, but I'm also like... That's weird. I just heard, I want you to fall the way these leaves fall. I want you to fall the way these leaves fall. Somebody is quite literally trying to make you fall in love with them or praying that you fall in love with them. Possibly fall back in love with them. If this is someone from your past. This suspension is here. Gemini energy. This is um, the hanged man in reverse. I, w <laughs> I just keep wanting to say girl, girl, girl. I feel like I'm talking to like a friend right now, like, like, ooh, girl, you know, um, there is like some dramatic, drastic energy. With the suspension in reverse, my loves, and it's right underneath this devil here. No te alejes de mí. It's like this person could be in limbo, right? This person could feel like they are in limbo, but they're also very much so stuck in their mind, stuck in their head, underneath that devil. When it's in reverse, the way they came out, the way that it came out. I almost said the way they came out. The way it came out. Uh, is it known that this person is obsessed with you? I'm seeing like just a salvating dog, like a dog just full of lavas everywhere, like just drooling, like a dog, like a drooling dog, like a salvating dog. I don't know. Is it known that this person is obsessed with you? Is it known that that's how bad this person wants you? Because I feel strongly like it is known, my loves, because I just said the way that it came out. The way that it came out was wrong. The way that it came out was wrong. Something, either somebody is coming out about their sexuality or somebody said something and word of mouth, word of mouth, word of mouth. And it's like, God, this person is obsessed with Virgo. I keep hearing like I want you to think of me 
I want you to think of me. This person wants to get out of this limbo, right? They want to stop being in their head about it. They want to stop thinking about it. They want to not be at a distance from you if that's the case. I keep seeing that egg at the beginning of Jurassic Park. Like there's a monster brewing for some reason I want to say. There is like a, oh shoot. I'm go, ooh. I almost said, because I'm thinking about T-Rex from Jurassic Park, I almost said a predator. There's a predator brewing. I don't like that. I don't like that. Because like I said, I'm seeing a drooling dog. Um, <sighs> Why am I getting strong? I wanted to say, oh brother, where art thou? Oh brother, where art thou? Damn it, I know. I know exactly what I think is happening here. Somebody wants to come out of a light that they are being seen in, right? They want to be like, I, I don't want to be seen like that. And Virgo seem perfect, you know? With the green mother, this is the Empress. Empress is a mother. Empress is growth, strength, radiance. That's weird. I almost wanted to say the Salvation Army. This person is wishing bad on you. There's someone... Okay, so if this resonates with someone who is trying to find themselves out of a dark light they are wishing bad on you my loves now if this is someone who is obsessed with you that wants to love on you or like is wants to be bound to you um this person is kind of like i should have got virgo pregnant like i wish i had a family with virgo i wish you know um i would have gotten impregnated by Virgo if it's the other way around there's like something of like I wanted to trap you I wish I would have trapped you when I had the time or the chance right there's some okay there's like one person who wishes they would have trapped you with a family with a child with a marriage but there is also someone who's like I look like a predator and I hope people don't see Virgo in a nice light, in the nice limelight. There's two people here, I think, doing magic. If I do, I, I honestly, honestly, loves, I think this is three people. I think there's three people. If you don't believe in magic, I do think that there's three people doing magic. But um, two are masculine energies. One is a feminine energy. Because I feel like this can also be like someone wanting... Someone wanting, like, I'm getting a mother and a daughter wanting you not to do well. All right, for those of y'all that don't believe in magic, these are three people wishing very heinously, very heinous energy on you. I want to trap you. I want you not to look bad. I don't want anything going right for you. Those three people are doing that, okay? Definitely. My loves, I had just posted something. Can y'all hear my dogs fighting with the cat outside? Um, I had posted something on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Um, and I had posted something on my story about pay attention to the weird energy right now. Your fur babies, your pets, your plants. It didn't say that in the post, but your plants and your ba actual babies will feel the energy first. Let me tell you, my dogs have been going at it. There is a very combative energy. There is like a fighting energy. Sagittarians are wild. And we have all the Sagittarius energy going on right now. Whatever this is, my loves, three people wanted you for themselves. And I don't see you with any of them. I see you focused on yourself, focused on your family, focused on growing your growth. 
focusing on grounding in what's good for you. And some of you have been cradling your inner child. I don't know if it's just me, loves, but the John Benet Ramsey documentary is on Netflix, and I was watching it last night, and I just cannot stop seeing all these visions. Um, I do think that I do think that these are people that you have had in your home. Okay, yeah, I I I, I do. Either you've been in their home or they've been in yours. I also feel like this is one person, this is one person, and this is another, but all three are sending bad vibes. There's obsession from all three. One more in particular has a love obsession. One has another obsession of making you look bad, and the other... I'm, I keep wanting to say revenge, but I don't see that here. I just keep wanting to say revenge. I keep wanting to say a Greenland or an inland warrior. I don't know what that means. Y'all can tell me, but I'm seeing something about a spirit animal, like a cockatoo almost. Um, or like a, a, like a big bird is what I'm seeing. There's something about you getting ready to soar. You needed to ground yourself before you go on this soaring adventure or just soar elsewhere, which is why there's people like, no, 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 trying to pull at your feathers. Over here in your surrounding, my loves, the, old, the oldest one, which is the Hierophant Taurus energy, we have the Six of Spirits, Bells, which is the Six of Wands, the Huntsman, and then we have the Four of Coins, no, Five of Coins in reverse. What is this Huntsman? Eleven. No te alejes de mí. I keep wanting to say the wounded warrior. The wounded warrior, the wounded warrior. Let me see, do I have the book here? Really quick, my loves, because these don't... <sighs> I hope I didn't... Let me just see something real quick, because that huntsman is giving me chariot vibes but I don't know why and I keep wanting to say if it's I know the huntsman always confuses me it's the justice card and I don't know why Ah, uh, I see. I keep hearing that song, baby love, my baby love, da, 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 baby love. I don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on. I feel like somebody is misinterpreting your feelings for them also for some reason, my loves. Y'all, Virgos, in this day and age, just be careful because you cannot be kind to someone without them thinking that it's flirting, you know what I mean? And I feel like you're trying to be nice to somebody. This is like something else, like a learning takeaway, like a takeaway from this situation here is like make sure you're not unintentionally leading people on because I do feel like someone is misinterpreting your kindness and your sweetness for hey this might be going somewhere that's just a takeaway from that okay oh I got the chills oh I got the chills I just heard that's what you want isn't it and I almost said Rachel oh chills 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 
A Virgo. With the oldest one and the six of spells, Taurus energy, and the six of wands. You've raised above whatever this is. They could not bind you. They could not hold you down. They could not bring you down. They couldn't pull on your feathers. The oldest one, the Tor the Taurian energy, which is the higher font, talks about rising, talks about going up higher a level in faith or a higher level of commitment. Higher level of commitment to yourself, to the universe, to your faith and, and your beliefs, the higher power that you believe in. This is also a marriage, my loves. This is also a marriage, a proposal, dating, um, like like dating transferring to a proposal or a proposal transferring to a marriage, right? There is something about moving on up and becoming wiser. For some of you, I'm getting strong like you healed your mom. You healed your mom? Okay, for some of you, I'm getting strong. Like something occurred here. Something occurred here. Um, something major happened. I'm trying to put the pieces to this, to this. Something major happened in which you've healed some sort of, I don't want to say curse. Because I think this is something that lied in your mother or a mother figure for you or on your maternal side. I just heard the snake wants to give you a kiss. The snake wants to kiss you. The snake wants to kiss you. There's something about maybe you have a very scorned relationship with someone in your family or a very negative one and not a healthy one or a very distant one or non-existent one. And for some reason, I feel strongly something has occurred. The Six of Wands is winning. There's something about a curse ending with you. There's something about a mother or mother figure or family member that is proud of you that's proud of like because you've shown dignity and grace I got the chills and I'm gonna end up crying there's something about I'm proud of you for doing what I could not for doing what I couldn't for doing what I failed with you Again, I'm hearing like you are the chosen one. Loves, we have a reading from Virgo from two years ago talking about you are the chosen one. Two or three years ago. And it was talking about you are the chosen one to break a curse. And it was with my Native American deck. And it was an ancestor message. You are the chosen one. And I think for some of you, that is why you've had maybe family members um, who have been envious of you or treated you unfairly throughout your life because their spirit knew you were the chosen one and with this empress this is growth this is mother there was jealousy there was people who did not want you to do well and you got out of that stuck situation. You, regardless of how much you were being confined or belittled or limited, you were able to push through and pull through. And although you may not hear it in person, you may not hear it in person ever from this person, my loves. But they are proud of you and they want to give you a kiss. Like I'm seeing like a sweet forehead kiss. And I'm also hearing, I wish I could go back and hug you one last time. 
there's a strong like if I knew that was our last hug I would have cherished it a lot more with a with maybe you're forgiving a mother figure or something or something like that there's something about the bad blood like kind of diluting and going down the drain I'm also getting a masculine energy that has scary scary teeth a masculine energy that has scary scary teeth like it's I'm getting like um I'm I'm just hearing you did what I could not. You did what I couldn't. You have moved up a level. You have removed yourself. You have learned the lesson. The six of wands is winning. It is a victory. It is feeling victorious. It is getting attention, getting recognition, and waiting for the prize and the trophy. My loves, something magical is coming because you have unlocked something magical. Something is very huge and it's on its way to you. Delivered with a kiss from the divine. Some of you, this is a child. Again, I keep hearing a child wants to come. For some of you, you may have like a... Um, I'm getting the age of 15, 14, 15, 16, something like that. If some of you had a family friend, childhood friend, pass away around that time, they're coming back as a child. That is what this is. Some of you, a long last long last a long lasting connection is coming so bad like they're ready to come back but this is going to be a life changing moment or a life changing experience or for some of you you're going to instantly know who this child is like you're going to recognize the eyes or the soul or the smile or the laugh or the spirit I keep wanting to say Emily. Ooh, chills. I keep wanting to say Emily. I keep I keep wanting to say like you've proven me wrong. You've proven me wrong. You've proven me wrong. With the justice in reverse and the five of pentacles. Justice in reverse, you were dealt a really really unfortunate hand of cards libra energy ooh for some of y'all yeah relationships are your downfall or the connections you were born into didn't give you any leeway and you came out of it what would have burdened and suppressed another is something that you rose from and grew out of and your children or legacy is that you're not leaving that legacy behind anymore you've changed it you've changed you almost like i wanted to say mangled the dna but you've changed the wiring in your bloodline people don't think that way anymore or at least your children or you and and generations below you will not think that way anymore it's okay to carve yourself out of that family tree you were born into an unjust home that owed a whole lot of karmic debt and look my loves you may have paid for it all alone and on your own therefore you're coming out of the contract you're coming out of that situation you're coming out of that generational trauma you're coming out of that debt that is owed 
the five of pentacles talks about no more struggling not having to pay anything else coming out of that things are going to get better they just had to get really really bad for you to win you know what i'm seeing is harry potter number four where they're having to fight the dragon and when they win they get to go on to the next one to the final right is it the final or the second one I can't recall at the moment. In the mutual energy, nine of cups, two of spells. I just heard, which one do you want? Which one do you want? The nine of cups talks about a very, very happy home. Look at what did you wish for? What wish and manifestation did you throw in the wishing well? What have you put out there? What did you say you wanted that you put out there for the divine to deliver? Straight to your home. And abundance is coming times three is what I just heard. I almost heard times 93. Ooh, I got the chills. Ugh, chills, chills, chills. I have a weird taste in my mouth. I almost feel like my jaw is being spread open. Like I almost feel like it's like 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 I'm at the dentist right now and I'm I, I'm hearing myself with a little bit of a lisp I don't know why like I feel like there's somebody working on my mouth at the moment work on your tongue my lovelies manifest something right now say it out loud like pause the video say it right now what you want For those of you that didn't pause, I gave you all a second. Say what you want right now, my loves. Put it out in the air, in the universe. The two of spells. Because right now you are quite literally creating your reality that's to come. The divine is looking at all your wishes and everything that you've thrown and they're deciding which ones work together how can we make it to where virgo gets the main full prize i'm almost, i'm almost getting like what can we give virgo what can we give virgo like god's hands are literally about to serve you what you want i'm seeing like money fall off the tree You've shaken the family tree. Therefore, I'm seeing like, oh, there's, you know what I'm seeing is like the tree stars from the land before time. Just so many of those falling down. And that's literally the only thing that makes Littlefoot happy. <laughs> like, is a tree star. That's what he craves. Is Littlefoot a boy or a girl? I'm not sure. That's what Littlefoot craves. I don't know if I said that correctly, but. Um. There is, there, I want to say a word that starts with an R, but I can't. Replenishment. There is replenishment coming. Some of you have been sucked dry with all the bad luck and wild cards thrown at you lately. And I'm seeing somebody like put a syringe in the finger and it just like kind of like swell up. You're coming back to life, Virgo. The death and rebirth the death and all those endings have happened now it is time for the rebirth Every, and you know what loves on december 1st when we have this new moon in sagittarius it is supposed to be quite literally a manifestation of what you were working on or wishing for in scorpio season scorpio is death and rebirth death and rebirth sagittarius replenishment underneath the deck i have the chills so bad and i feel like this reading is very important to a lot of you not just virgos a lot of people the hermit in reverse the hermit in reverse virgo energy you're coming out of an era you're coming out of hibernation is what i feel no more retreating no more I almost said instigating girl I don't know what that means but 
you're coming out, Virgo. The hard times are over. And I almost said no more stinky situations. No more stinky situations. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. There is still is something like... I think that you were almost settling in the love department, my loves. But look, a great, great, great love is coming. Or a great love of the future is going to occur here. The Ten of Challenges in reverse death and rebirth this is karmic debt being paid out and you getting up once more to start fresh the wounds have healed what is this and the eight of wands now fast forward movement soaring didn't i say you needed to ground yourself before you could soar oh my goodness my lovelies that is what i have and look eight of pentacles eight of boots money money finances career mastering your craft it's all coming in i see a new job i see new career i see more time and energy to do things that you want to do and that's possibly all that y'all were asking for and trying to manifest those things child of challenges page of swords Someone is still keeping, you know, their distance, but yet an eye on you, wondering how you make everything happen and how you do the things you do. 